Welcome. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hi, uh, I'm uh, Karin Jimfeldt Katan, and I'm the head designer of Odmali. Yes. And I'm Per Hulknecht. I am uh, in charge of creatives and one of the co-founders of Odmali. And we're very lucky to have the pleasure of your company. And because uh, you're very busy today, you have a show later on today at the Stockholm Fashion Week. Um, how does it feel? Are you ready? We're nervous. <laughs> uh, it feels fantastic. It's uh, actually the first time we attend the uh, Fashion uh, Week in, in Sweden. And how does that feel that it's the first time that you're here in your home country at Fashion Week showing your clothes? It feels fantastic. Uh, we're really excited and we're happy to be part of it. How is it different from being around the world and, and showcasing yourselves? I was just going to say that. I think that uh, to me it's more um, terrifying to perform in front of your home audience because they are harder judges yeah. than um, the last couple of shows that we've done in New York and Los Angeles and Copenhagen and whatnot. It's a, it's a lot easier being out there because the, the crowd is more objective and uh, this one is a little bit harder to please. So even though you're really successful and are doing well, you still get nervous? Of course. I think it's part of it and it's fun to be nervous. And the collection that you're showing us is the Spring-Summer 2012 collection. Tell me about it. Uh, wow. We can go on for a long time <laughs> if go you ahead. <laughs> give me that question. Um, but um, shortly, it's um, Odd Molly for us have been uh, during the years. We see Odd Molly as a world traveler. Uh, a world traveler that constantly seeks inspiration from all over the world. We have uh, almost every season different parts of the world that we fall in love with. And, and where is Odmali headed this time? She has been in uh, New Mexico, Santa Fe and um, Peru. Peru, she's uh, almost every season traveling to Peru. She but this Peru. time we like uh, Peruvian summer and also China a little bit. And how does that come across in the clothes? Uh, this you can see uh, since we uh, love embroideries, we love um, patterns, we love chacards, knitted chacards, uh, and different way of uh, handcraft. So you can see that in uh, small details and the patterns, colors. And color-wise and garment-wise, fabric-wise, what can we expect to see on the runway? Uh, we have. I, I wouldn't like to tell you. <laughs> it's a secret. Yes. Uh, but we, no, I mean, it's not a secret. We, we are um, fascinated uh, with uh, different shades of white for this season. Uh, we love indigo colors and we love strong colors mixed with uh, nature colors. I heard uh, some rumors that it's going to be quite a spectacular show. You're going to be displaying it live outside Kungsträdgården. Tell me about that. Well, what we're, <clears throat> what we're doing is um, our show has gained a lot of attention since it's the first time we're in, in Stockholm Fashion Week. So the show is more than oversold out. Um, no more seats, and only to um, give an opportunity for those that couldn't get in to be a part of the show. We have a gigantic screen in Berzeli Park, um, and we're also throwing a party to, to uh, celebrate the whole show. So, so basically, everybody's invited. Everybody's invited, and those, so that, are watching, those that are watching the show out in the park uh, will eventually see the whole full runway show walk right by in the park as we uh, finish up the show. That's a great idea. Yeah. Why is that important to you? Well, you know, it's, it's a business uh, show, um, which is mainly for press and for buyers, or I would say mainly for buyers and for press. Yeah. But it's also important for us to share this with our, uh, you know, entire crowd. And you're one of those Swedish brands that have done really well, both in Sweden and abroad. What do you think is your secret? What is it Odd Molly has? Uh, well, I c I'll give you half of it. I think that we're not necessarily looking at um, the rules of fashion. I think we're more primitive as to interpreting what's uh, simply looking good, feeling good. And uh, trendy is perhaps uh, a part of what we do, but it's not our main um, guide. We, we, uh, we want to 
build and design clothing that is um, appealing and women want to wear. It's quite easy. And, and then we fill the gap in the marketplace. Yeah. Design-wise, how do you distinguish yourselves from, from the rest of the Swedish fashion scene, in your own opinion? I think um, it's mostly that we're there to do what we like yeah. and not what the trendsetters say that we should do. Mm. Sometimes we do the same as others because we like it. It's not because it says in the magazines or whatever. And also that we're there to... One thing that has been one of our success uh, things, I would say, is that we're there to use colors. We're there to use patterns and mixing it all in, in our way. Yeah. Um, um, for me, mostly, Swedish fashion is more, uh, um, what do you say? Careful. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> more aware of trends and so on. How would you describe the woman who buys Odd Molly, the Odd Molly woman? For me, I think it's uh, every woman. Uh, every woman who has the same feeling as, as we have. Uh, someone who likes life someone who uh, likes living her life, someone who likes being a woman, very important, and someone who likes Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings, tell me more about that. What's the Sunday morning thing? Oh, the Sunday morning thing is kind of the morning where you have a full day ahead of you with nothing to do, and uh, hopefully a great party behind you. Mm. And it, it's, uh, it's, it's a very careless and, and uh, free morning to uh, look at what you have next to the bed and put it on once more. And uh, I don't know, when, I just wanted to add uh, one word to our lady and she's normally pretty uh, independent and, and strong in her own and she doesn't need approval from around. So tonight is uh, the fashion show, the big fashion show and, and for a lot of people it seems as if it culminates right there, but what's after for you? Oh. Uh, on Monday, we start a new collection for yeah. fall uh, 2012. So um, we are um, very busy. <laughs> yeah, so you're moving on. Oh, chop, yes. Chop. <laughs> very much so. Yeah. Can you give some tips? There are some people gathered here. Can you give some tips for what to wear for spring summer 2012? What are some, um, some rules of thumb? Well, did you say rules? Rules of thumb. Uh, rules of thumb, that's better. Rules don't yes. exist. There are no rules. You should wear whatever you like. Uh, but we really, really like uh, lots of knitwear, uh, preferably crochet, made, handmade stuff, uh, lots of holes in the patterns. Uh, you have to uh, wear underwear underneath. So you have to buy extra, a lot of clothes. <laughs> Underwear, layers. plus, yes. <laughs> but not layers like you, you will feel um, big. <laughs> Should be more like layers um, with different lengths. Okay. That sort. Flowiness. And also colors, of course. I think uh, what you said, you know, whatever people want to wear, I think that um, the industry normally uh, tells women what to do and what to wear, and we don't think that that's the way to go about. We believe that women are strong enough to think for themselves. So we're pretty much up to serving a palette of, of opportunities and combinations and mixings and, and leave the power to the people. Well, thank you very much, and good luck tonight. I'm very much looking forward to the show. Thank you. Thank you.